In today's video, we're going to be talking about when to expect your first frost. Now, I've made multiple videos like this, so you guys might be familiar with the way I make this, but we're going to go layer by layer, and each layer means a different time frame. For instance, our first frame here, we're looking at late August. So these areas have already likely seen their first frost. Some of the Cascade Mountains and then some of the Rocky Mountains are very, very highest elevation regions in the entire United States there have seen their first frost on average. It's Now there's a really, really decent chance that there's gonna be some pretty far departures from what is typical here. That's definitely worth noting. So don't hold this video to be absolutely true because if every single year we literally just got our average, uh, it'd be really easy to forecast the weather, but that's just not how things really work. This is our late August region. Let's add another one here. And this is our early September region here in these pink areas. So Oregon, California, we see some of these mountainous hilly regions in here, Nevada, as well as a majority of the Rockies now being taken up in this pink region. We see some areas in northern Montana there, northern Minnesota, and even northern Maine there in those pink regions seeing the, uh, the early September first frost, the first half of September here is generally when we expect to see the first frost here. Now, our third region here, which is going to be your late September region for seeing your first frost. We see states like Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and even up through Colorado, Wyoming, uh, the Dakotas, Nebraska, included there and then we take it all the way across to the north here i'll draw along with where i'm talking about but minnesota uh wisconsin there and then michigan both the upper and lower peninsulas there and then we see that new england especially the mountainous regions start to get their first frost here in late september that's only a few weeks away think about it uh, we'll, in two weeks we'll be at the halfway mark of september anything after that is the later half of september that's when these areas start to get their frost that's how close we are at a colder temperatures moving in. It's unbelievable really how quickly, quickly this year is just flying past us. Unbelievable stuff here. Now, early October is when this light blue region that we just added expects to see their first frost. Areas in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico as well. And then we see these southern regions um, we see areas like Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, a tiny bit of North Dakota there, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. Uh, we see Michigan in there, Illinois, Northern Missouri, uh, Indiana, Ohio there, West Virginia, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New York, and then the rest of the New England states. We see plenty of those in that lighter blue region. Again, the first half of October is when these areas would expect to see their first frost. I would say this encompasses about half of the nation, the northern half, I would say. Uh, we're right around that halfway mark by this point. And definitely by the time we add this dark blue region here, our late October region, I would say more than half the nation is in their first frost by the time we're reaching the very, very end of October. So again, this darker blue region is going to be any time from the 15th through the final day of October. Um, so around that Halloween or the weeks leading up to Halloween time frame is when you would expect to see your first frost in these dark blue regions. Now, let's add another layer here. This is your early November region here in this darker green region. So if you live in this region, uh, early November is the time frame when you expect to see your first frost. Super interesting stuff. And then last but finally not least, November 15th or later is when we expect to see our first frost in this lighter green region. So areas in California, Arizona, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. Some of these regions, it's November 15th or later, meaning it could be at the very, very peak of winter. It could be in the middle of winter when they see their first frost on average. And if you're outside of any of these colored regions, so some areas there in Southern California, Southwestern Arizona, Southern Texas, Southern Louisiana, and Southern Florida, we see some of these areas uncolored. That means on average, you do not see a frost at all at any point during the year. Does that mean it definitely won't happen? Absolutely not. It is certainly possible, and some of these areas have even seen snow before. It's just that, you know, on the average year, it might not happen. Some areas just below the light green region, it might be every other year. Areas, you know, 
uh, 50 miles south of this line, it might be every five years. Take it another 50 miles. It might be t every 10 years, all the way down to the Florida Keys where it might be every 100 years on average. I don't know actually what the number is. All I know is on the average year, they do not expect to see upverse frost at all, any frost, which is super interesting. Now for context, we're going to be going over my September temperature forecast, my fall temperature forecast, and my winter temperature forecast. Obviously, for instance, in the September forecast, since we expect above normal temperatures out west here and even for the north central United States as well, all the orange regions basically, this could lead towards a later frost than typical uh, if we see persistent warmer temperatures out west. And again, these are the areas that typically do see their first frost throughout the month of September. So it could happen a bit later for a lot of folks. Could happen earlier still. Obviously, there is some anomalies that occur in here. But this warmer temperature could be an indicator that later than normal would be the trend. I don't think anywhere in the below normal temperatures we expect to see their first frost in the month of September. So that's kind of, you know, don't pay attention to that. Go watch the September forecast, though, because it's a great video. And then we see near normal conditions for the northeast. So it should be right on par with what is typical or at least nearby it. Now for the fall temperature forecast, we're waiting for this to load in. There we go. We expect above normal temperatures for both the south and the west. Now, we see that a lot of these areas are experiencing above normal temperature out there into the south. And throughout the month of September, October, and November, we could see later first frosts for areas that do expect to see it during the fall time in these above normal temperatures. It's important to note but another thing that's important to note is that even though you expect to see above normal temperatures throughout a three-month period, that does not mean that it's going to be above normal the entire time. We could have a freak cold blast in late September that causes so many people to see their first frost before average, but every other week outside of that week could be above normal, and you would still end the three-month period of fall technically above normal. So there is some different factors that do play a role. Uh, and definitely this below normal region up here, we would be inclined to believe that they could see an earlier frost than typical for the areas that expect to see it after September. Because again, in, in September, we expect above normal temperatures and neutral temperatures, temperatures for a lot of these areas. It's mostly October, November, um, when we expect to potentially see some below normal temperatures in these regions. Last and certainly not least here is our winter temperature forecast. Again, you can check this one out as well. But out west, we do expect warmer than normal conditions to prevail through not only September, not only fall, but even into the winter here, obviously. Uh, but a lot of areas further south here uh, see below normal temperatures. These are the areas I want to pay attention to because these are the areas that potentially see their first frost during the winter months. Uh, and these areas might have a better chance than most years at seeing an earlier frost. But not only that, some areas might see a frost in... in they, when they usually don't. So that's another interesting factor to pay attention to here in the eastern United States and the southern United States more in particular. Uh, so I hope this adds context here. I hope this video is very interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Be sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and be sure to subscribe for more weather-related content. I'll see you guys in the next video.